When you're an executive in leadership, specifically in the CEO chair, you carry a unique weight. That weight is something that no one else in the organization will quite know, quite understand, unless they've sat in your chair. It is the weight of the success and at times the survival of the company. And that causes for a lot of executives sleepless nights, a bit of chaos, maybe some turmoil. But it's not the real problem. The real problem that executives face in growing their company and sustaining growth is people. People are the engine uh, to our companies. They are complex creatures with the emotional capacity to become tired and cranky and, and confused and frustrated. If you throw on a global pandemic and an economic recession, they can become bitter, uh, frustrated, prone to quiet quitting and, and not working uh, to the betterment of the company. So what do you do? What does an executive do when they realize their company culture is in a downward spiral? Well, that's what Halting Winter does. Well, I'm Seth Winterhalter, the president of Halting Winter, and we come alongside companies to elevate their employee experience, to foster a, a sustain a company culture that produces extraordinary results. And how do we do that? We do that through a, a, a couple of ways, but predominantly through what we call Storyline Symphony. Storyline Symphony is our program to help people compose lives of enjoyability, meaning, and purpose. And you may say, well, uh, we're here to develop our people professionally. Yes, that's one aspect. But here's the reality. People have three key aspects of their life, a personal, a relational, and a vocational. If you only develop the person's vocation without them connecting that relationally and personally, you'll never have real momentum. In fact, I would say their meaning and purpose is, is too tied into your company's meaning and purpose. But you, you create inside of a person a personal worth, value, well-being. Move that to relational, where again, one aspect is with their coworkers, where they feel a part of a team, where they feel each part of their unique identity, skills, and talents are actually needed to foster not only a culture, but to foster the products and the services that, that company produces. And then you create a captivating mission that gives meaning and purpose to individuals and the collection of a whole. Now you've produced a culture. Now you've produced a flourishing culture that is going to produce extraordinary results. We've seen it happen and we'd love to see if you would be a candidate for us to help make that happen. If that sounds of interest to you, then let's reach out and start a conversation today.